Hello, Bob is in the house, and tonight we are reacting to new album by Sam Smith to thrill of it all. Finally, uh, Sam Smith redropped his new album, and I've been waiting for this record like this whole time the, since I heard uh, too good at, too good at goodbyes, and that was an incredible song. Such was uh, Pray and Burning. Oh my God, that single was fucking fire. <laughs> my least favorite is Pray out of three, but they are all great songs. And Burning and Too Good at Goodbyes, I ended up listening on repeat. Fantastic songs, amazing, beautiful soul, Sam Smith. And we're just ready to react to his uh, new album. So, Sam Smith, to thrill, to th <laughs> to thrill of it all. First reaction, let's go. Alright, so the first track is Too Good at Goodbyes, obviously I've heard it, but uh, we're, just, we're just gonna give a quick listen and uh, go to track two. You must think that I'm stupid You must think that I'm a fool I mean I must steal in case you gone But every time you hurt me, the less that I cry that is true. I'm way too good at goodbye. I'm way too good at goodbye. I'm way too good at goodbye. By the way, I was watching James Corden's uh, Carpool Karaoke with Sam Smith just uh, like an hour ago and once again I have been reassured that Sam Smith is just like a pure soul, you know, like he is amazing, adorable, incredible uh, human being and just like uh, I really admire him for that, you know, uh, he's a very great guy, a very humble and amazing guy. So uh, and I enjoyed the video, so check it out if you have missed it. Uh, but after this video, of course, of course. <laughs> All right, track two. What do we got? We have say it first. Let's go. I never feel like this. Don't keep me guessing with things that you do, my baby. Say it first. I need to hear you okay. say those words if I'm it's... all that you. It's different than uh, three tracks, uh, three singles. They were uh, kind of similar in style, stylistically, sonically. They were kind of sounding similar, but this is different. Personally, I didn't really enjoy the song. Um, the three singles again, they kind of stood out much more, and uh, comparing to them, it wasn't that great of a song. It's not a bad song at all, though. Uh, I like some aspects of it, but didn't really enjoy that track. Uh, but there is, I'm sure, I'm sure that there is much more um, better songs in the album. Uh, we have uh, still need to hear. So, track three, one last song. Oh. Hey, something more uh, kind of a bit fun going on. Maybe one day. I won't sing Okay, okay, good song. Hold on. By the way, so let me show you something. Basically, basically, uh, I was listening to Sam Smith's songs with uh, this uh, speaker right here. It's not even a speaker, it's uh, pretty much like an alarm clock, you know, like a you see in the hotels in different countries over there, stuff like that. But uh, it was it used to be my old speaker, and if you have seen my old, um, you know, previous videos, like for like last month, starting from last month or like two months, I was having this beast over here. This one, look at the beautiful, gorgeous Sony, right? And so uh, it's not an advertisement, by the way. <laughs> it's just uh, I realized that um, instead of playing in the old speaker 
we gotta turn up this one for sure <laughs> let's do that it's going to be pretty loud and uh, <laughs> I have neighbors right <laughs> over there uh, through that wall of music there is neighbors right there <laughs> so uh, but fuck it you know fuck them it's 9 35 uh, 10 35 but uh, everybody probably sleeping over there but that's okay it's for Sam Smith right this is for Sam Smith let's uh, listen to track 4 with the new speakers that are much louder and much fuller this is pretty different I don't remember this type of song though I hope you still gotta listen to track 5 burning even though I did a reaction to it we need to listen to it because it's a fucking amazing song Track six, him. Holy Father, uh -huh. we need to talk. I have a secret that I can keep. This is perfect so far. Okay. You thought you wanted to be a boy. Can't give up his thoughts. It is him I love. Won't you try and tell me that God doesn't care for us? Sam Smith was uh, I have read somewhere that he had he never had a boyfriend and that was shocking to me because his songs you know are so relatable in terms of like relationship right uh, love stories and if it's really true that he never had a relationship it's pretty crazy how skillful he is as a songwriter that you know even if he didn't have an experience he kind of knows uh how it's supposed to feel you know like how a person feels in those situations in these circumstances you know and pretty much he creates a story in his songs by 
himself um, you know kind of like a fantasy because even though they're based on maybe like uh, true experiences of people and that's the reason we can relate it's pretty much fantasy for him because he never experienced that so that's that's pretty crazy that's I found it fascinating um, and uh, but I know that he I mean we I've saw a uh, video of uh, the Carpool Karaoke again which uh, dropped recently and he was talking about how uh, he seems how he sees uh, you know his wedding <laughs> so of course uh, like many people uh, Sam Smith still dreams of that uh, perfect love and uh, not perfect I mean it's hard to get a perfect love but I mean like at least the person who will uh, sincerely love you and uh, look at you in a you know in a way that you would not resist and you will see that he actually or she actually loves you and like uh, that's when you know and when they are uh, kinda you know they can compromise stuff with you if they can um, if they can stay after certain problems you know um, if they are not leaving uh, soon after one failure or like uh, one mistake you have done right uh, if they if the both of you guys are able to compromise that's when you know that you know uh, you guys should stick and not give up to each other and uh, not give up each other at all means so um, hopefully people who watch this and you know all people actually in the world will at one day um, find the true person that uh, he, he or she was destined to so um, that's a good message I believe uh, by Uncle Bob <laughs> anyway so um, track 7 baby you make me crazy Track 8, No Peace, featuring Yeba. saying simile but it, it's actually simile and it, it's the kind of same thing as uh, metaphors uh, so hopefully you got my point uh, track 10 is pray we can just listen a little bit and then uh, go to track 11 track 11 nothing left for you 
Speak the truth. Hey. My heart to a goddamn fool. Yes, yes. Hmm. Ah. Damn it. That's what I'm talking about. That's the lyrics, man. What a great job. This song is also relatable, um, simple for the fact that uh, it's not about me, but rather the person, the girl uh, I uh, liked, you know, um, it felt like she, like she is singing that to me because like she had something going on before, right? and. Um, uh, like she had a bad relationship and she didn't want to have a new relationship with me we were friends for a long time so uh, it was like kind of from her perspective kind of thing so I was like ah okay okay so it's like that um, but yeah you know a lot of these songs uh, you can relate to those stories you know love stories and stuff like that so uh, the thrill of it all. Hold on, let me go to translate.google.com and translate the word thrill because I don't know the meaning. Oh. That's what it means, okay? That's a great name for that album. <laughs> I just realized. Not bad, not bad track. Track 13, Scars. Okay. This is from a mother from the older brother of your children made you free. Oh. Now your tears have cried a thousand tears and here we are after the war. For some reason, it reminds me of some Imagine Dragons songs. Just the beginning of uh, that's this song reminds me of like whatever it takes. Yeah, honestly, not really feeling this song. And we have last track, uh, One Day at a Time. Pretty interesting name, pretty curious. What he's gonna sing about. Okay, that's a good idea. The vocals, though, that kind of like uh, da, 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 thing that was pretty awesome. I like the closure of this album, I like it. Final thoughts on this album. Uh, Sam Smith uh, did a good job, great job, uh, once again. Uh, he was different this time, I mean like, yeah, of course, uh, lyrics were on point as usual and uh, his vocals were amazing as usual, but uh, something about the production uh, and the, the, cho the choice of um, the melodies you know were pretty different this time and like i could feel the change from his last project to this project and uh, especially uh, there were more like uh, choirs behind him all the time especially in those uh, three singles again uh mentioning uh, but uh, not only there but in uh, other tracks uh, as well uh, so uh, not sure <laughs> right now which ones but like um yeah, they were there definitely, and also there were not only talking. We were talking about mostly about love, but there was also uh, mentionings of religion, for example, in pray, and also I believe it was in palace. It was 
it's like either in palace or it was like another song where it was just like oh damn like he is talking about god again over here ah uh, in him in him i believe it was him yeah 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 so uh he was talking about um damn gosh i wish i could forget <laughs> i could i could remember but there was like references to god and like i'm not like kind of a sinner you know like and i know that um damn i wish i mean i wish i could remember i'm not gonna say anything but you can uh, read the lyrics or just listen to the song and i really like the way he did it though i i think uh it was pretty nice uh, coming from a person who is pretty religious uh it was good it was nicely done i like the simile and metaphor in uh, tracks like burning uh, in uh, also in a lot of tracks, uh, but I would highlight in uh, "Nothing Left for You" as well. It was nice, pretty tight metaphor when he said, uh, "My uh... oh, it wasn't metaphor. No, no, no. And that track it was just like a clever, good uh, lyrics, like, good line, right? Um, I gave my like all of my heart to another person, which was you know fool, which was." Uh, down dump pretty much right and uh Sam Smith regrets that um he gave his all love to that person you know and it didn't work out and uh Sam realized that that person is not it wasn't worth it you know so uh and uh, I, I believe what I've got from that song is that um uh, Sam wished that this person who is attracted to him um he wished that he could he could have give that love at least 50 percent of what he gave away before but unfortunately he has nothing left inside and he just not he just cannot give that love uh to that person which is uh looking uh it's sounds me with an admire and with uh you know uh he thinks uh, that Sam is adorable and he's ready for, like to be with him, but Sam is just not ready. And I found it uh, it's just like really cool. I, I really love uh, "Nothing Left for You" the song, and also uh, my highlights uh, would be "Too Good at Goodbyes," uh, "One Last Song," "Burning," "Him," "No Peace," "Palace," "Pray," "Nothing Left for You." and yeah that's it that's my highlights that's like the songs that i for sure will come back and listen to uh other tracks weren't bad either i would also say midnight train and baby you make me crazy wasn't bad at all too so uh definitely good job sam smith great project i enjoyed it thoroughly and uh we'll listen to it more uh, what you guys think about this album uh give your opinions uh, are you did you enjoy uh, this project? Uh, what about my outfit? <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> Let's just uh, have a conversation about something and um, uh, maybe you can tell me um, a story of yours, um, some couple of love stories if you're comfortable sharing, uh, maybe about uh, your struggling, if you have any strugglings right now, maybe uh, if you're comfortable enough again, um, share, share it with us and we can comment and uh, maybe suggest something. Let's be helpful to each other. Let's be kind to each other. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be it for uh, this video. Uh, really hope that um, you know we will have that sense of community um, uh, throughout because we're like one uh, family who likes music. Uh, I'm I'm able to say that finally after having. Uh, more than 1,000 subscribers. I'm able to have. I'm. I'm able to say that uh, we are a big group, big family that constantly come back to this channel and uh, listen to new songs. And yeah, let's talk. And um, my thoughts are <laughs> rambling at this point. Anyway, I'll just end it over here. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Spaka, hair, our feeder zain, our feeder chairs, ciao, ciao, our reward, our office, goodbye.